Hey everyone, you may remember this area that was flooded. That was about a week ago. You can still see some of the marks to the left of the sidewalk of how high the water level actually was. It wasn't because the drains were really clogged. It's because there's a major culvert in the woods here that's meant to drain the highway that actually clogged up. I'm gonna go take a look at that. It's been a week since it's rained, so the water receded a lot. We're gonna see what the culvert looks like because I learned this fence doesn't go down, it ends right there so we can walk around it. Bridge is right there. This all flooded to go in there. Obviously, there is a lot of beavers out here and they made this big pond. And this water only has to go up like a foot before it hits that road. That's a culvert right there. And that is a massive culvert if you look at the other side. That's big enough to walk through. And it's jammed. And this flood happens to that road. Every time it rains, the guy told me, why can't they just bring a machine down from the highway with a bucket loader? They could clear that thing in under five minutes. Because if I open that, the beavers will just jam the thing back up. Let's go see if we can get a better look at it. I doubt I'll be able to do that easily. This water here is extremely deep. I can't even walk through right here where I am. I'm trying. I feel the pressure of the water. I might be able to make it. Ah, oh, man. Pricker bushes are everywhere. What a mess. I can't make it. It's too deep. And you can't see the bottom. Let's try walking around a little bit. Like that is probably within the last two months that was cut look at all this just junk they have so much material to build with if that thing is clear within a few days they'll have it jammed again that's a fresh cut You can see this trail here. That might be from animals, but it might be from the DOT coming to look at this thing. See the water dribbling right there? And there's a lot against this. I think we can clear a little bit of it. That's the entrance of the culvert. But that thing is also huge. Some of the branches blocking it. Uh-oh, big splash in the water. Beavers don't like what I'm doing. Look at these massive trees that they're taking down. See the all chewed on the base. I'm gonna try to get some of this open because that'll help the roadway not flood again. I'm definitely gonna report this and send a link of this video to the DOT so they can see this. Cause this is so easy. You see this? A bucket loader would have no problem getting down this. Remove a section of guardrail and the problem is solved. I can see their lodge, it's huge. Okay, here we go. It's pretty cold today also. 
It's like 36 degrees. That's a pretty cold morning for April in Massachusetts. There's a lot of crap in front of that culvert. Like, so much. They've neglected this for years. The beavers did not do this kind of thing overnight. This is years, years in the making. Because if they would have came down here with an excavator when it started, there wouldn't be so many downed trees that got chewed by them. They've been working on this for a very long time. I just had to take a 10 minute break because it's cold and my hands were freezing up. Here there's really nowhere to throw this stuff when I'm getting it out because the hill here is steep. It's too much effort to keep throwing it up. I'm going to try digging a little more but you saw a few minutes ago I got a little whirlpool going but it quickly filled up with more crap because you see the surface of the water everywhere is covered with junk. You open up a little hole it sucks that junk back into the hole and it's jammed again. So unless there was a big machinery to open this thing up, then this culvert here, there's actually two of them right here. Both of them are three feet tall by five feet wide. Those are big enough that all this little junk would just pass through it and get dumped in the Connecticut River. It wouldn't matter if you took an excavator and opened the thing all at once. It would not really matter to drop it. But then the beavers are here and 
I'm sure they'd find in other places a big swamp all along the Connecticut River but they'd have to find their own territory I'm gonna try at this again for a few more minutes if not I'm just gonna tell them where this thing is I'm sure they already know but I don't know why they're not fixing it because it's it's actually very easy access I've seen excavators get down steeper hills in this. Also, if anybody knows this, beavers don't reuse their materials. So the sticks, they don't reuse them. I've learned that before. When I've undone other culverts, it's always blocked with new supplies. I'm gonna try at the other side because there's a lot more current hitting the other side. I can see the trickles. This one is flowing. I got like the top three inches of the culvert open. It's not much, but there's a lot of it going through the dam. I'll show the other side before I leave. Okay, you can see there's a lot more current on this side. Let's try to get a hole busted through this. Whatever, I tried. This is an endless battle. I just dug down. There's a gigantic log blocking the whole door. All this water goes through here. You see how all the leaves are pushed up in bunches? Because it goes over here and that's Riverdale Street right there behind that fence. See the new chew marks on the trees? This far away from the water, the beavers wouldn't feel safe. It's because this was underwater. That's why you got all these chew marks that are very fresh. Why didn't they pave up to it? Because you see, you got the erosion starting. It's also super muddy. Look at all my footprints. How much I sunk. Like a few days ago. Maybe that was a week ago when I was here. The stream really dropped. You see that? How it does that twist through the woods? That's what's getting through the beaver dam. The other day there was more of it because the massive pressure forcing it through the cracks in the holes.
culverts right over here. And look, just like the other side, as you can see the how the fence twists around so you can actually walk up to it. This is what we got underneath the side straight. You know what, I got my really tall boots on. I'm just gonna walk up the stream to show you the culvert. Cause all the ticks are gonna be coming out. I haven't got one on me yet this year, but it's that time. As soon as you get a warm day, cause we did hit 70 once this year. Even though this Friday, we're supposed to get three inches of snow. You can see there's a good amount of water coming out and based on this well actually last saw it the other day it was coming out enough to fill this but it was still dumping a whole lot as you can see this culvert is definitely big enough to handle the surge like we saw the other day it just got to be unclogged Now the other side, I could barely dig beneath right there to get beneath the beaver stuff. Now you can hear a giant waterfall. That waterfall is the water pouring through the beaver dam. It's supposed to just go through here all steadily. Yep, the beavers flooded the highway. And basically this stream, it's small, but when it rains, it fills up fast because it handles all the highway water. Now, I don't understand this. This pair of culverts must be older because, because no engineer would put smaller culverts below a really big culvert so this probably older than the 50s looking at it and you actually got concrete tubes instead of some of the newer ones which would be corrugated with concrete poured around it i definitely gotta check for ticks tonight because I had to walk through some pretty bad pricker bushes just to get on the other side. Look at this. They put a gate. Maybe so they can get a truck in there easily to unclog it. You can tell that pipe over there is new. See? That's for the storm drain. Probably all the ones on the street because it's pretty big for just one. It's like they put a little step so it doesn't dig a hole. All right, glad I was able to show why this road floods. Got a drain right there unclogged got a pretty low spot right here maybe there's a drain I missed when we were I'm marching to try to feel a hollow spot maybe right here nope uh, it's right here Looks like that might have been cleared off recently. Maybe the DOT found that the other night. Because after I cleared the one on the side street, they were down here looking around. Thanks for watching.